Hello my beautiful Niger people. Welcome back to my channel once again called Nets I beg, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to so always enjoy our daily uploads. It is totally free. Thank you. Well, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has finally replied Peter Obi. Ever since the talks, Peter Obi has been criticizing and embarrassing the government that all they know is just to be spending money and he doesn't even care about the citizens anymore, only about his own personal people. And let's not forget that recently, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu took over 1,400 delegates for the COP28 conference in Dubai. And according to some reports, that the delegates for the past 10 years conference combined is not up to the one President Bola Ahmed Tinubu took to Dubai. This is uh, more since the occur for this country. And the truth be said, this budget of a team has been the major issue the country is facing at the moment. However, hey, Vice President Shetima don't finally talk to a toxic you have been dancing naked in the public square. Well, according to him, he said Peter Obi has been dancing naked in the public square, trying to curry the attention of those who care to listen and waiting Vice President Shetima talk to that. So my people, in this video, I'll be giving you the full updates. Just do well to watch till the end in order to get the full updates. And also, please, don't forget to like this video so that YouTube can recommend it. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, please do well to do that. Well, like I said, that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu don't finally reply Peter B. And according to them, they said the ongoing project for the construction and renovation of Vice President Kashim Shetima's residence with a budget provision of 15.5 billion in the 2024 budget plan was initiated by the administration of former president Goodluck Jonathan in 2010. Reported by Sarah Reporters that the clarification came in response to criticism from Peter Obi, who expressed shock at the allocation given the current economic challenges facing the country. However, in a statement scolding Peter Obi for attempting to incite public outrage against the Tinubu administration, the statement emphasized that the Tinubu government inherited the project from its predecessors and accused Obi of playing dumb to score cheap political points. The statement reads, given the reactions and invocations generated by Mr. Obi's comments, however, it is necessary for the sake of history to clarify that the proposed plan for the construction of the Vice President's official residence, for which a budgetary allocation was made in the 2024 budget by the FCT administration was awarded by the administration of former President Goodluck Jonathan, was not originated by the present administration. Them talks say Peter Obi knows but chose to play dump and on in a bid to inflame a targeted group of Nigerians, as usual, scorching political goals and praises, and the statement invited Nigerians to cross-check the fact that criticized Obi for neglecting the importance of completing vital abandoned projects, highlighting the national embarrassment caused by multitude of abandoned federal government projects across the country, and the current administration emphasized its commitment to completing such projects before initiating ones except under exceptional circumstances requiring strategic alignment or economic significance. According to the presidency statement that the budget plan was initiated and funded by the administration of former president Goodluck Jonathan in 2020, now meaning that nobody this government won't do and be that. Well, like I said, on the other hand that them talks say Peter will be has been dancing naked in the public square, trying to curry the attention of those who care to listen. So right now, no be only President Bola Ahmed Tunubu replied Peter Obi. Even the Vice President to Kashim Shetima has responded to comments made by Peter Obi. Reacting to the criticism, Shetima said for good 24 hours, Obi danced naked in the public square, trying to curry the attention of those who care to listen to his falsehood and warped opinions about waste. On Sunday, he accused the current administration of sponsoring over 1,400 delegates to Dubai for COP28. The next day being Monday, the subject of his newfound passion, armchair criticism, after his colossal loss at the presidential poll, was the proposed 15.5 billion budgeted 
by the Federal Capital Territory Administration to renovate the House of the Vice President, which he claimed would pay the annual salary of 3,000 university professors. Well, he clarified the proposed plan for the construction of the Vice President's official residence. He said it was not originated by the present administration. This Mr. Obi knows but just to play dumb. Well, according to Vice President Chitima Itoxi, ordinarily, we wouldn't have bothered to gratify Peter Obi with a response, especially when it is obvious that the Labour Party candidate is an unhealthy subject to post-election trauma, but it has become necessary to put the records straight. Well, Vice President didn't stop there. He said, for the records, unlike the most brilliant, all-knowing and Nigerians, Merific, but never had president. Mr. Peter Obi, both Vice President Bola Metinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima have never claimed to know it or, or exhibit anything close to perfection in their dealings. If anything, they have always submitted to their human nature, leaving perfection to the Almighty God only. This project, which was reinitiated in 2010 and was funded by the Jonathan administration, was abandoned and appealed by the sorry state of the uncompleted building that was now overtaken by Widis. Well, many Nigerians would have been looking at what exactly happened that the debater or be really dust naked at the public square. Well, Vice President was just only joking based on the fact that Peter Obi has been causing problem ever since the issue of budget or innovation of a team. And to be very honest, it is not only Peter Obi that is complaining, even Nigerians too, because this government, the only thing they care about is themselves and they've been taking care of themselves, you know, spending money, wasting the country's money. Yes, they are saying it is time for us to rejoice. Well, my people, now the updates where I get for you be that, like I said, President Bola Metsunobu has replied Peter Obey that the renovation was based on the initial plan by the past government that is during good luck Ibele Jonathan Ted Neal. On the other side, the one on Vice President Shitima saying that Peter Obi has been dancing naked in the public square. Well, I don't think there's any video for that and I don't think it is actually true. It might be joking though because many people will be looking for the video up and down and this title of the video is not a distraction at all or a clickbait. That is what the Vice President Shitima said. So my people, in case you get one or two where you want to talk because looking at what the presidency has talked, you know, the VP and the president, I don't know if we should believe what these people are telling us. If you agree with them or disagree, please share your honest thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video once again. I beg, please do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel to always enjoy our daily uploads. And also, don't forget to like this video so that YouTube can recommend it and share, please, so that more people can get to watch it. Thank you once again. See you in my next video.